Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to resolve some streaming difficulties you might be having with Netflix or Amazon Prime on your Windows 10 device. So while both of these applications should work within the Microsoft Edge browser, there's sometimes you might need to update Silverlight, which is a Microsoft application framework. And usually a lot of the streaming software requires Silverlight. So in this brief tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to hopefully resolve any Silverlight related issues you have. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. The first thing we're going to do is actually head over to the start menu. And we're going to type in programs and features. Should be listed directly above control panel from this menu. So you want to left click on this tab. Okay, so now at this point, you should see a program that says Silverlight in here. If you see one, you want to right click on it and then uninstall. So for example, I'm just going to select one here and then I'm just going to left click on uninstall. But again, only if it says Microsoft Silverlight. So we just want to completely uninstall the application. And I don't really think I need to show that in this video. I just showed you guys how to get to this point. You just right click uninstall and then I'd recommend restarting your computer if you're not already prompted to do so by the uninstaller utility. So once you've come back from restart after uninstalling Silverlight, we're going to reopen our web browser. Doesn't have to be any particular one, I'm just opening up Google Chrome here. And we are going to type in Microsoft Silverlight into Google. Doesn't have to be Google, I figure most of you guys probably use Google. But anyway, one of the links towards the top of the page should be a Microsoft domain. And at the time of this recording, it says Get Silverlight. You want to left click on that link. So depending if you're on Windows or Macintosh, the download instructions will be a little bit different. However, I'm assuming most of you guys are coming over from Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8. So we're going to left click on the Install for Windows option. And the installer, or at least the setup for the installer, is only about six and a half megabytes, so fairly small. Shouldn't take very long. So once it's done downloading, you want to just left click on it to open it up. And it appears it'll begin extracting. So if you receive a user account control window in this process, just left click on yes. At this point, we can either close out or minimize our web browser. It's not really important at this point. So anyway, we can see the installer has opened up. We have a few different options before we proceed with the installation. We can either keep this stuff checked or unchecked. Personally, I'm going to uncheck Make Bing my search engine as well as Make MSN my homepage. And you can see it applies to the Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari browsers. So that's a personal preference, but I'm just going to keep both unchecked. And then I'm going to proceed to left click on Install Now. And it shouldn't take very long. We can see it's already about 99% uh, of the way done, just in the time of me talking here. And we can also see that Microsoft Silverlight is integrated within Microsoft Update, which will appear to do more automatic routine updates. You can keep that checked. It's recommended. I would just keep it check marked, not a big deal. So then proceed to click on Next. And then installation was successful. And they even give you a little notification here saying you may have to refresh the web pages for the changes to take effect. So they're very well aware of what we are probably trying to do here. So like you either follow the instruction or you've probably already closed out of everything at this point. So then just go back to Amazon or Netflix and try and watch your streaming service again. And hopefully your problem has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.